This is an urgent message to anyone who wants to live off grid. Now this is gonna be controversial. What's the point in being safe if you aren't free? It's all about control. And the most important thing of all is... Since starting our channel, we've shared the highs and the lows. I can't believe this is happening to me. We've talked about solar, water, food. We've shared our mistakes. Salt. We've talked about how to start a life off grid, but we've never talked about this. There is a change in society and it's going to make it more difficult for you if you don't move quickly. We used to talk about freedom. Freedom used to be the pinnacle of everything. If there was a war, we'd go, go and fight for your freedom. Well now, since Covid, we've moved towards being safe and being fearful. And we're supposed to be fearful of everything. You know, we've got climate stuff to be fearful of. And we've got, we had Covid to be fearful of. It's all about control. The big thing was misinformation over everything on social media. We must control that. Mainstream media lying. They've been caught with their pants down now, mainstream media, for delivering misinformation on a worldwide scale. And what's happened? Nothing is happening. Nothing's happening. The masks, you know, they started off saying they don't work to stop a virus, which everybody knew a paper mask doesn't stop a virus. Especially on a cold day, we can see water vapor coming out of it. And then we lost our minds and we were told that they do work. And yes, you get a mask that does work. It's called a gas mask. They were paper. They don't work. And people went along with it. And apart from the visual cue of knowing COVID is about because someone's got a mask, people were actually believing that that stopped a virus. And I remember having some arguments online. Why do surgeons wear them? Because it's spit and bacteria. And bacteria is a lot larger than a virus but you couldn't tell people and you just give up arguing, basically. They don't work. Apart from that visual cue, that was it. So there was lots of misinformation about the vaccine and it's all coming out now. So the government were overbearing with their control. Some people were able to withstand it. Some people were told they would lose their jobs. Now this is gonna be controversial to say the least. You're either vaccinated or anti-vax nowadays. It's totally polarised. What about those people that want to make a decision not to have some things that they perhaps don't need and others that they might need? And if you're stuck in the middle, you've got almost no friends today. And, and, and me and my wife, we were in the middle. We were fearful, like everyone of COVID. We saw this come out, we saw people with hazmat suits and we went, oh shit, it's got real. And we looked for the evidence, you know, the science. We were saying, you know, trust the science, trust the science. Uh, there wasn't any. Uh, there was just TV doctors and I'm, I don't put faith in people in uniforms, I just never have. It's worrying, they can pick on a group of people uh, and segregate them. You can be basically a leper if you're not um, vaccinated and, and it does away with your autonomy and freedom of choice. That's just not agreeable I think in the large part with people off grid. People that live off grid or want to live off grid are uh, probably quite critical thinkers because they have decided to choose a different path than a lot of people. So we mustn't give up our freedom for safety. What's the point in being safe if you aren't free? The trouble with this is, it was so easy for them to create fear and manipulate that they can pick a group of people to dislike uh, like people that didn't have the vaccine because they were be say you're putting them in danger blah 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 and you know you look at the off-grid community and they will say unwashed hippies that don't want to get a job that are basically lazy and breastfeeding their kids till they're like 10 and stuff like that just weirdos right they find the weirdos of society they find any weirdos that are living off grid and they put them on camera it's media manipulation people when they were at home sitting in their little box all that time they're thinking is this what my working life has bought me is this what there is to it when I get locked down I'm here and just like the year of resignation when people worry about their safety going to work every day and think sod it I've got money I can retire people were sitting at home thinking there's got to be more than this I'd like to have a bit of countryside around me I'd like to have uh, my own supply of things when things go wrong and that's why they did it. They knew that people would be thinking that way and that's why they've made it more difficult.
if enough of us do this, we can have all these things. You know, if you move quickly and you research, you buy your land, you find whichever way possible to get and live on that land, we can have this, we can all have this, and more of us need to do it. Because things are coming that are gonna to try to lock you down again. You know, these 15 minute cities, that's not for your convenience. Most of us are gonna give up all our rights for convenience, but when they wanna lock you down, and it will be something like climate lockdowns, they'll be able to say, you're locked down in your zone, if not in your house, definitely in your zone, with these 15 minute cities. You don't wanna be there. You don't wanna be that guy. You wanna be free. And if you'd like to see how off-grid life can bring you freedom, check out this video here.